Hi all, welcome back. This is Surjit. Uh, let's uh, start with our very first chapter of uh, this syllabus that is gravitation. So let's start with the gravitation introduction. Okay, so uh, just to try to recollect uh, what you guys are already aware of gravitation. Uh, you can pause this video and think on this for a moment. Okay, so if you're done with that, uh, what do you think? Well, what is gravitation? Okay, so uh, let me tell you, it's, it's it's a universal force first of all. Okay, and with universal, I mean that it is applicable in entire universe. Okay, uh, that means it is applicable between any two objects in the universe, not only on Earth. So even on Earth, it is not only between Earth and any object or Earth and us. It's between any two object on earth between me and this boat between any two object okay i mean in the entire universe so it's a universal force first of all and it's a discovered uh, this phenomenon was discovered first by sir isaac newton and uh, uh, the story goes like this uh, he uh, observed an apple okay falling vertically downward on the ground and uh, he was wondered that why this apple uh, falling vertically downward and why not this fly up horizontally or why it's not making any angle with this vertical uh, line okay and why it's only vertically falling down mm, the conclusion was something like that earth actually attracts that apple or any object towards it and that attraction basically and the force of attraction is towards the center of the earth okay so it's like say for example this is my earth and this is that object so that attraction the gravitational force of attraction is directly towards the center of the earth and that's the reason it falls vertically downward of this is now clear to you that what basically the gravitation means and um, how it got discovered okay so interesting fact is uh, this force is also applicable with moon as well okay not only moon even uh, anything which is revolving around a planet or something okay so that this, this is this is uh, also applicable with moon let's consider moon for now so it is also the facing a vertical force okay towards the center of this earth and it also has its own velocity as well so let's call this velocity is in this direction okay uh, i call this as a small v and i named it as capital f that is force to say that it is force okay uh, now what happens is why this is not falling downward is because it has a, another vector applied on it or it has its own velocity as well so if you guys know what is law of parallelogram so law of parallelogram says that if you have a parallelogram say like this and uh, the two vectors are facing the adjacent sides of this parallelogram the resultant vector will be along the diagonal of this parallelogram so the same same fundamental will be applied here okay so e so this moon won't come down this moon won't go straight so as per the law of parallelogram if i try to make this a parallelogram so this moon will be getting a force towards the diagonal of this parallelogram okay so this if it if it comes here the same fundamental will also be applied here as well and that's the reason moon doesn't fall downward but it revolves in a particular orbit okay so this law of parallelogram is also applicable uh, with a smallest unit of any element and that is nothing but an atom so when if you are aware of that atom structure that inside atom we have a nucleus and in on the orbit you have electrons so the electron this electron is having this force of attraction in towards the nucleus 
also has its own velocity so it neither goes down it neither goes straight it will come here and follow the same pattern here as well and that's the reason it will follow a circular motion okay hope it is now clear to you guys that why moon doesn't comes down while apple comes or any object free falling objects comes vertically downwards and get attracted towards the surface of the earth okay uh, just, just let's to just to make you guys understand or make it more clear uh, just uh, consider a uh, that hopefully now this is very much clear to you guys that what gravitational actually means and this is just a basic introduction of gravitation there are a lot many other things inside it so in further topics we'll be covering all those